Here we go, talking about Valentine's Day. I know you all are ready, so let's move on in. So guys, I'm on Twitter. It's January, blah, 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 what day was it? Like the last week of January, a little bit before that, and everyone's talking about Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day this, Valentine's Day that. If your man doesn't get you this, if your man doesn't get you that, he doesn't love you, or you're a sad chick, whatever, whatever, whatever. Quite frankly, I'm over Valentine's Day and it's actually finally here. And it's just like, y'all gotta take a chill pill. Here's my little, this is like a Valentine's Day rant, basically. So, the first thing is, why do why does everyone care so much about this commercial ass holiday? First of all, if you're with someone and they don't like celebrate your love every day, type every week, whatever, then maybe you should find someone new, okay? Um, I hate that, I, I actually hate that shit that says like, oh, Every day should be Valentine's Day. Okay, first of all, everyone does not need to be lovey-dovey every day. Like, we have issues, it's life. Deal with it. Second of all, like, why does females feel as though they should receive, like, a freaking Rolls Royce for Valentine's Day? Bitch, please. Get the fuck over yourself. It's one sneeze little holiday and you feel like the world should just open up and you should be flattered with gifts. How about the male get gifts? Now, I'm not a feminist. I'm not like a manist or whatever these little stupid ass like titles are. I'm just a person and I truly believe like in equality, whatever. And females really just be going in on the Valentine's Day thing. And like, I feel as though males get like really like um, looked over by your man a gift. You know what, won't you like switch the roles up and take your man out for Valentine's Day? You know what I'm saying? Like, today's Thursday. You have time to like try to find a reservation somewhere, try to make some little cute little plans, do something. But like, God. Now on the other hand, men don't leave like, don't leave everything up to the girl. It should be like a give and take type of thing. Like, you know, like that situation. Um, what else? Ladies, y'all put too much pressure on men. Why so much pressure? Like, I know people are just like, damn, like, it's Valentine's Day coming up. Let me see who I'm talking to, who I might even get a little bit serious with so I can go out for Valentine's Day. Go out and be at the dinner table with every other person that's at the dinner table and don't know how this is gonna go. Why are you so pressed? It's love yourself day. I've been single every Valentine's Day ever. Okay, and I'm not like some like single broke bitter bitch, no. Um, I've been single and I got through it. It was actually fun, you know. Girl, I went and got my nails done. I went shopping, mm, love thyself, you know. Went and got me like a marg or something like that. I had a beautiful little day. People be out here like drowning in their damn sorrows. Get over yourself. That's the type, like get over yourself on Saturday, okay? Valentine's Day is the 14th, which is Saturday. It's a Saturday, what? What better else day? Like sleep in, go get you some brunch, go get your nails day, go get your hair cut if you're a guy, like you're chilling. Go out, you know, live it up with your folks, but please don't be that broke bitter bitch. This Valentine's Day, I'm actually not single. How is that going? How is that gonna go? I don't know. I was not thinking about it until like someone else asked me, so what are you doing? It's just like, I don't know. Am I like supposed to plan something? Oh my god. Then that whole ordeal came. And now I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing Saturday. Time shall tell. You know, I might make the plans. He might make the plans. Uh, I really don't know, but I'm letting all the pressure is not that serious. Yes, a little serious. Yes, she wants some romance in your life. Yes, she might want flowers, not roses. I mean, first of all, people need to get out of like that little stander box. No, I don't want chocolates. No, I don't want roses, okay? Go buy me a damn cupcake. I love cupcakes. Go buy me like, like if you really know the person, go buy them something you really know they'll like. It's not about this conventional ass, dumb ass shit, okay? That's for men and females. Like, stop, please. Like personally, my favorite flowers are peonies. I would rather have peonies than roses. I personally don't really like roses like that unless they're like peach or something. I like cupcakes over chocolate. I like ice cream over chocolate. You know what, I like a lot of things over chocolate. So you get my drift? And then like, okay, so if you are gonna, oops, shaking the camera. If you are gonna plan something for Valentine's Day, don't make it that same old tired shit. Oh, I'm gonna have a restaurant, you know, date, ooh, great. Ugh. 
again, it's just like really like not engaging. You're sitting across the table from someone, blah, 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 blah. Oh, we're gonna go to the movies. So not engaging. You're in a dark room with a whole bunch of other people. You really can't, you can't talk, you can't communicate. Do something fun, like I personally think. I wanna go ice skating. Mm, so I get a little rough and like push, you know, like push on whatever. But then again, that's my kind of like, you know, like I like, that makes me laugh. That type of thing. Or, you know, I personally was like, oh my gosh, roller skating, you know. That's probably fun, like, to be truly honest. Nice little workout, you know what I'm saying? Or bowling, probably fun. Supposedly it's childish. I don't think so. If, you know, your significant other is, like, a fun person and you all have fun together, then, you know, you can raise the stakes. Like, you know, if I win this game, you know, you do this. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you can make it fun. But don't do that boring ass stuff. Go to a concert. That's fun. That's like something really memorable you could say. Oh, we didn't go to, oh yeah, we went to the Witcher Call concert. Oh my gosh, you know, Lauren Hill's coming to town. Go to Lauren Hill, that's cute, you know, real cute. Um, You can go like, to like those cool like dance parties. I found one, that's fun. Like, oh my God, partying up with your boo. Hey, fun, yay, ha. Huh. Just don't do no typical ass shit. It gets overrated, it gets fat, it gets overrated really fast. And then when Valentine's Day next year comes, they're just gonna be like, oh, it's not that big of a deal, you know? But you do something fun and creative, it's just like, damn, I can't wait till next year. Woo! Or they're gonna be like, we need to do that again, but like a couple weeks from now. And then, you know, you'll have something like real memorable, like that, that, um, your tradition, like your creative Valentine's Day, some shit like that. I don't know. What okay, this is a really big, okay. Mm, mm. Look. We all know that Saturday is February 14th and we all know it's Valentine's Day. There's no need for you all to remind us this on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and whatever other social media network or handle you use. Hmm. Okay, so that means if he gets you a gift, it's, that is like for you to, to like enjoy, you know? Oh my gosh, you got me a gift, oh great, blah, blah, blah. You do not have to plaster it across the internet. You do not have to take a thousand photos and put them up. Personally, I might just stay off of Instagram and Twitter for the time being on Saturday because I don't want to just be constantly like, oh, this person got this. Why do you need to tell people? Why is that, why is that such a big deal in our like, um, our generation? Like to just plaster your life. Like, okay, you know, you want to show one or two things, cool. But like, oh my God, do you have to keep some things private? Keep some things for the mystery, okay? There's no need to show off. And same thing for guys. Like, look, you got her something cool. If she want to post that, let her do her. But she don't need to be like, oh, yeah, this is what I got my girl. Okay, we get it. First of all, you're just setting yourself up for them other broke-ass, bitter bitches to be coming after you. And, you know, my call's trouble in your little perfect little home. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's kind of it. It was just like a little rant. But yeah, this is my cool little Valentine's Day video. Hope you all like that. There's going to be more videos to come. I'm going to definitely be giving you just more, like, rants, like very honest videos i feel as though the youtube stratosphere is just filled with a lot of like the same stuff and that's why i kind of don't watch a lot of youtube videos anymore hit me with a thumbs up if you want you know i really don't care well actually i'm sorry i do care but i mean it's not that big of a deal you know a thumbs up is just a thumbs up i just hope you actually like the video um subscribe this is my new channel share with your friends your facebook your instagram your twitter so be it love you guys